Hello everyone and welcome back to Satisfactory. My name is Aaron and this is the Outcasted channel and last time we finished building up that building we added some coal miner or some extra coal engines. We got set up for creating steel foundries and now what I want to do is actually go set that up but I made a bunch of modular frames before and I actually figured this out real quick. Vehicular transport we just need some tubes and some cable, which we have the tubes, we have the cables, and I can find, I think, I can get those rotors pretty easily. So I'm, I'll be back once we have enough of this. I just gotta go collect it all. I've collected everything that I needed to, and here we go. We can click the big red shiny button, and we got vehicular transport. And what this Milestone should be able reached. to do is Long what I'm kind of thinking. As well as the construction oh, wait, of outposts is now encouraged. Vehicle stations have built-in functionality to refuel and restock or collect parts. Okay. So, what I'm planning on doing now is being able to just have a transport from here to there. And from what I've heard is that these aren't too great, but I kind of think it'll work for what I'm thinking because I just want it to load this up essentially. I just want a loading dock over here to load up onto the space elevator. So can I, is it in transportation? Truck station. Ooh, I actually have enough to build this. And I don't have a, I think this will leave me enough for that. To, oh, I don't, I don't have the rotors. That's okay, that's okay. I don't need to worry about that right now. Right now, what we're actually gonna focus on is getting the steel set up. So I'm gonna bounce on over there and we'll build up a steel foundry real quick. This is so much fun. I absolutely love the fact that I built this thing last episode. It makes it so much easier to get back and forth between my two, my two little situations going on. Next, I'll just have to build a bounce pad situation to get to the roof here at some point, actually. That might work better. Um, and I actually want to check because I have a line up here already. I want to see, can I? Oh, I don't have any iron rods on me. That's okay. That's okay. I don't, I don't need to worry about that right now. What we're going to do is we're going to go to production and boundary there it is i don't have rotors i'll be right back i'm gonna go grab rotors i just i just did this last time well that sucks i just i missed my jump I missed one of the jumps and I lost all my things on the way back. Dang it. I'll get it. I'll get it back. It's okay. Okay. So these jump pads aren't perfect, but they still work on occasion and they work good enough for me to just live with it for now until we have some fast way of getting around. Here we go. One foundry going down right here. And we're going to actually change that. We're going to put that down like that. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. So what my kind of goal is, is to get the iron from over there. Oh, they didn't ping. That was Caterium. The iron from over here. Those pings there. To bring it up have kind of an elevator here get it up to here and get that all set up what i'm gonna do first though is get a splitter and get the coal up here because i know we need coal in that because how you make steel is with coal and iron so i'm just gonna throw that coal in there that i just have sitting in my inventory okay now we're gonna work on getting this kind of to stack up Okay, so here's kind of what I'm thinking. This splitter goes off to the three different uh, coal engines, and we're just gonna have another splitter 
come off right about here and we're gonna pull a mark two out of it and i need to set down a conveyor belt pull right here and we're just gonna have this go straight up like that and then a conveyor belt mark two is gonna come into that where we can then put a lift mark two going up and i'm actually gonna climb up to the top real quick um and see if i can get this up from the top boom just like that we got a lift coming all the way out and we can get a conveyor belt mark two coming out of this and right on into there cool cool all right now we need to set one up for all those iron over there and i have a few um portable miners in my inventory so that way we can build some minor mark ones over there and i will have to just string along a power cable so we're just gonna bring a power cable right out the back here connect to the thing over there and we'll just bring it on over to here wires too long we're heading over to there right about here and just keep it going okay we got first two iron deposits that are sitting up here so we're gonna put a power pole right in between them and then if we come on over here if I put it right on this edge here we can set up another one down here and that can connect to that node and then we got another two right here and another one right there and then is that it is there not another one over here okay i think that's all of them so now what i need to do is set up miners okay we want these guys facing out that way shooting out towards that cool cool and then i don't know how many of these i'm actually going to be able to place so i actually needed to come down here I need to mine out these things manually so I can actually place down miners. So I'm going to do this all real quick. All right. All the iron chunks have been removed and I'm going to set this guy up to actually pump right into the mountain there. This guy is going to pump back this way along with this one. And this one we don't have a miner for, so we can't build it yet. But we'll get to that soon enough because now we're going to connect all these guys up to power you know i really should i wonder if, if i can get something like this to work i i just want to get from here to up there right can i get this to sit there and then get a conveyor just to connect the two and can i cool i'm just gonna use this to run up all right, all of our miners are connected that we have. And then what we need to do is set up our lines of conveyor belts. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is have this guy come all the way out to here. And this guy come all the way out. So here and I'm just gonna work on getting all of these conveyor belts to kind of merge kind somewhat all into one line together not I'm not gonna merge them all together but I'm gonna bring them all out to somewhat the same area all right some time has passed I put down another portable or I built another portable miner put down another miner mark one and I brought all of these guys all six conveyor belts they're all mark two conveyor belts out to here and then we're gonna start working on getting them out up up, up there and being able to start crafting things with steel now i did some looking in to the parts that we need for steel and for versatile framework we actually need modular framework which requires if i can find it here reinforced iron plates which requires iron plates and screws 
and iron rods so what i'm thinking we're gonna do is actually take out of mm, two of these and just have them working on making modular frameworks and i'm gonna just set that up real quick i need to work out kind of production wise what we need to get so let me start working on that and i'll be back once i kind of have an idea as to how this is going to work out okay well i've spent probably an hour just running back and forth getting enough uh reinforced plates just to get this thing up and moving and i think i need to kind of adjust how it's running because it seems right now where we have too many plates so I have two things of plates one thing for screws and one thing for uh, tubes right there going through but this is just not cutting it I think we might need to get more power slugs that might be a an option and just put a bunch of power shards into this here assembler or not assembler excuse me constructor and just get those hardened plates to you know this is an assembler excuse me and just get them to pump out a bit quicker that could be an option but um really what i need to do is so i set this guy on to standby and this guy's making modular frames and we're just going to pump the modular frames up the side how we have the coal going and then i have four shoots of coal or not coal excuse me iron ore over here and i'm gonna bring them all up and over probably in this sort of fashion not sure but we're gonna bring them up and kind of around this way and then into that um, and I'm gonna keep them split up as four because I might eventually redo them and have another thing over there or something because this is a lot of iron this is a lot of iron and I know we're gonna need a lot for smelters because there's a lot of things we're gonna need um, steel for but this is where we're at now and now I just gotta wait for like a lot of hardened plating to be made which just takes time um so yeah i'll wait for that and then once we can then we can get that piped up i'll be back in a few hours all right it's been a few hours and i added a few extensions onto things that were getting backed up in this little situation here and right now you can see that um, hardened plates are being backed or reinforced plates are being backed up and modular frames are not being brought over and right now that conveyor belt is just stopped right there and it will eventually come up like we have this iron coal coming or er, iron ore coming in from this line here which trails back to I believe this one or the one way down below over there anyway we're gonna go ahead and connect this up here and go ahead and get steel starting to get made right here now what I think we need to actually do here is use the steel in a constructor immediately afterward so we'll line that up nice and neat and I wonder if I can get this to work just like that and then get a logistic mark two I can't afford it hold on let me be right back and this is why I have these things being backed up it makes it a lot easier just to come over to the conveyor belt and spam E and collect them all up real quick that's also a pretty beautiful sight is watching these things climb up look at that that's cool all right, I gotta get back upstairs. Okay, conveyor belt mark two, let's see. Okay, so we can just connect it up straight up like that and get this to start making, well, actually I wanna see, do we need, what do we need first for the first tile? We need iron or steel beams. So we'll make steel beams out of this and then we'll, we're gonna need an assembler. So let me see if I can build an assembler real quick. I have the materials and we're going to just set this up right here facing in like this. Okay. And then we can get a conveyor belt 
coming from here at least and jetting off into this guy and then what we'll do is we'll bring up if I have enough iron plates I don't I need at least 36 okay give me a little bit I'll be back um, and we're gonna bring up to the assembler the modular frameworks that I built because then we can set up versatile framework set right here so I'll be right back all right it is time to bring up this here conveyor belt so bring it all the way up to this level here and it's gonna stick a little bit far out but that's okay and I sat and I gathered about a almost close to a hundred hardened steel or reinforced steel frame or panes excuse panels anyway I'm gonna set that up right there and get that moving on into here and then I also and because I spent so much time there I got enough that I'd be sure to be able to do that and this thing here is turned off of standby mode so if we wait a little while eventually we will see come out of that right there two modular frames and those are gonna start pumping over into here where we got our uh, versatile framework being made and then we'll be able to take this and ship it off over to the uh, ship it off over to the space elevator where then we'll be able to progress on to phase two but we also have to work on making something else to get uh, elevator work so let me go check out that and then we'll figure out what we're doing for the next episode which actually I think I do already have an idea a quick interlope before the end of the before the next clip I forgot to place down wires I'm placing down the wires now so that way this thing is all powered and actually running so now it's actually working there you go all right so for us to be able to continue on to the uh, next phase we need to get automated wiring and to get automated wiring we need to actually progress further into tech trees i believe into um i believe it's under advanced steel yeah here it is so we're gonna have to get into that at some point and we're gonna get a minor mark too but first off we gotta get a bunch of steel pipes so next episode what we'll probably end up doing is setting up another foundry set it up for steel pipes and then also get a truck to start and work on trucks and start transporting versatile frameworks from our new foundries area to the space elevator. So I'll see you guys next episode. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see more, I have more satisfactory on my channel, of course. And then I also play Minecraft and I'm going to start looking into playing some other games and doing some other things like that. So check out my channel. If you like the video, please leave a like, maybe share it with a friend. Have a good night. Bye.